Today, I'll talk to you about capture long read isoform sequencing for uncovering human isoform diversity in the brain and characterizing SARS-CoV-2 viral RNAs. The cDNA capture workflow starts with either poly-A or total RNA. Going through cDNA synthesis using the PacBio IsoSeq Express workflow to generate double-stranded cDNA. Adding UMI on the 5' end and sample barcode on a 3' end. A customized design panel of biotonylated probes will pull down full-length transcript of your interest. Streptavidin beads are used to pull out the probe and target cDNA complex and reamplify with a second round PCR. The capture product can then go through smart bell library prep and sequencing. The bioinformatics workflow takes the hi fi reads as input, removing 5' prime and 3' prime cDNA primers, extracting cluster reads by UMI group using the isoSeq pipeline. SCOMT3 classify the transcripts and remove artifacts. Here I'm showing you a data set generated using a customized Alzheimer's disease panel, breaking down a number of reads by step and the on-target rate. Overall, we achieve about 80% fully reads on target with all 35 genes recovered. The transcript length generated by this capture panel has an average of 3.6 KB and with high isoform diversity from two to hundreds of isoforms per gene. The pull down transcripts are full length. Completeness is supported by CagePeak and poly motifs. Novel isoforms are also detected, which are shown as NIC and NNC in the SCOMT report. A closer look at two targeted genes on the panel, huge contrast between APOE and TOM40 in isoform diversity and unique molecular count for the different isoforms. Switching gears to SARS-CoV-2 sequencing, using the IDT COVID-19 panel with the same cDNA capture workflow. The panel contains overlapping probes that are densely tiled across the whole viral genome. Comparing sequencing results between PCR-based approach and probe-based capture using twist or ATCC control RNAs, while the coverage is spiky and uneven using the Arctic V3 PCR primer set, probe capture generated higher and more even coverage without any dropouts or any PCR optimization needed. The UMI tagged molecules can be visualized on IGV to look at founder molecules versus PCR artifacts. Each read is colored by UMI group in the screenshot. In summary, the isoSeq method probe-based capture offers detection and enrichment of full-length transcript of interest without any assembly needed. We demonstrated successful capture of Alzheimer's disease-related transcripts and SARS-CoV-2. The probe pool design is highly flexible from a few genes to megabases panel. The workflow is compatible with total RNA or poly A RNA. It is highly cost-effective with multiplex capture and high on target rate.